Welcome to episode number 22 of this pack series from the show 21. We want Mike Trout. We want to pull him again. And this is a very special episode. I'll show you why we have tons of special packs. We have 25 ball and as a habit packs. We have 36 headliners packs. Okay. 36. I've been saving them up for the past few weeks, saving up these headliners packs. Uh, there was also a flash sale recently and We've got a chance at a very high diamond here, 90 plus diamond. You know what? Let's open this one. No, not yet. Not yet. Um, I was going to open it right then, but I, I want to save that for a little bit. First, I want to show you what else I've got here. Four kitchen sink packs, which have the very, very high diamonds. They're like the most expensive ones. They're like 30,000 stubs each. Um, yeah. So what I want to do right now is open this very special pack right here. We might get a super high diamond. Let's find out. Here we go. Open the pack. Come on. It's a diamond. It's just one card. One in ten chance at a 90-plus diamond. Here we go. Give me a green one. Give me a green one. It's purple. Fortunately, it's purple. Not off to the best of starts, but we've got like 70 special packs. So uh, we've got, of course, Marcus Semyon. We've got him. Uh, we recently sold some duplicates of him to buy more packs. I like packs. So uh, he's a good young ball player. He's not going for much just yet. Now we're going to open set 20. Headliners. A uh, good chance at a diamond here. We didn't get one yet. John Means, good young ball player. Another headliners pack. We don't even get a gold? Okay. Man, for some reason I thought in headliners packs they were all going to be gold. Okay, not just yet. Not just yet. Strong chance of a diamond in here. Uh, if you look at the headliners odds. Oh, I was trying to look at the odds. Uh, one in ten chance of a diamond in the headliners pack. So this is our fifth pack. No diamonds yet. And diamond. Nope. Not even a gold. All right. Well, let's go. We're going to open headliners packs until we pull a diamond. I'll tell you that much right now. Tyler O'Neill, good young ball player. We're into set 19 now. Uh, we had a gold player in an inter interesting spot there, which made me think we might get a diamond. Okay. Here comes our ninth headliners pack. Still no diamonds and still none. Here's the tenth one. If I open all 36 of these headliners packs and get no diamonds, I'll go crazy. Double gold there. No, I don't want that one just yet. Okay, we're going to open headliners till we get a diamond. Diamond right now. No, but we want M-I-K-E-T-R-O-U-T. -E that is not Mike Trout. Um, Not a diamond. Here comes our 14th headliners pack without a diamond. Haven't even got a lot of golds yet. Um... Might have, whoops, opened this one early. Here we go. And who's it going to be? It's going to be a, uh, a special diamond here. I accidentally opened this other pack. This is going to be one of the headliners from one of the first 20 headliners series. Okay, who's it going to be? It's a greenie. It's a green diamond. Now, this can't be Trout, right? I don't think so. Uh, it's, 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 yeah, it's uh, Carlos Santana. Okay, 95 diamond. Carlos Santana, not too bad. We pulled the green diamond right there. We're going to pull a lot of diamonds and hopefully a lot of green diamonds in this episode. Carlos Santana, is he sellable? He is for 101000 Oh, my gosh. Uh, there's a chance I'd use him, though, like a strong chance, actually. So I'm going to actually add him to my lineup. Um, am I? Yeah, Adley Rutschman. No, no, Santana better. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put uh, Santana right in there. He's promoted, and um, that's awesome. Okay, back to the regular headliners packs. This is our 16th one, still no diamonds. Come on, we got to get one before the 20th pack. Here is number, whoa, we got a diamond right there. Special place for it, here we go. Give me a green one. Give me. He's running out. He can't be that good. No. Whenever they're running out like that, they're not going to be great. They're too eager. They're like a rookie. They're like a young ball player, a good young ball player. And it's Marcus again. We're getting a lot of Marcus. A lot of Marcuses. We're seeing him a bunch. Uh, okay. So it's like 18 headliners packs to open a diamond. Uh, and we only have 12. Oh, 15, 17. We have 18 left. Okay. So we had 36. We have 18 headliners packs left. Uh, let's open a kitchen sink pack right now, though. Okay, there's a 1 in 5 chance of getting a 95-plus overall player. Uh, and here we get a 96-plus player in these. Uh, yeah, let's open one of these. Come on, give me the 96-plus. 
And we don't get the cool reveal. No, we only got the the 90 plus. And we're just going to go for the one who's going for the most money. And that is Mr. David Robertson. Okay, so we'll get him. And, and we're just going to sell him now, actually. Yeah, I'm not going to use him. Uh, no chance. But he's a good young ball player. And here we go. Let's get a 96 overall. And 96. Yes. We got it. We got the 96 overall. And I love Sean Green. And maybe I'd use him. Uh, who's going for the most? They're all going for about the same. Fergie Jenkins uh, is a good old ball player. I want Sean Green. Might actually use him. Okay. Yeah. The 96 overall Sean Green. I'll add him to the lineup later. That's not bad. Can we get another 96 overall? Let's find out right now. And no. Okay. Back to these. And the one who's going for the most money uh, is uh, David Robertson still. So... Let's get him, man. Let's sell him now. Yeah. Okay. And uh, now we're going to go. Yeah. Let's go with this final kitchen sink pack. Do we get the 95 plus overall? Let's find out right now. No, we did not. So the most expensive one is going to be Travis. And I would not use him. So sell now. Sold to the highest bidder. Balling as a habit. Not Yeah. Let's go with five balling as a habit packs right now. Okay, there's a 15 in one chance of getting a diamond. And there's one right there. Very first one, we get a diamond. Let's find out right now who it is. It's a purple. It's just a purpley. I don't like the purplies. I like better than purplies. And it's going to be a left-handed pitcher. It's Clayton Kershaw. And I think this is the first time I've ever pulled Clayton Kershaw. Ever, I think. Ever. First time ever pulling Kershaw. Unfortunately, he's not going for a whole lot nowadays. Man, a few years ago... If I had pulled him, he would have been going for a ton of stubs. Clayton Kershaw. Um, love him with the passion. Uh, he is amazing. Clayton Kershaw. Okay, let's open some more of these. Uh, T-R-O-U-T. -T. No. Michael Conforto. I played a home run derby against him in person. 2017. Night of the home run derby. Uh, MLB Players Association party. I was co-hosting a show there for Sony San Diego studio and uh, played against Cody Bellinger um, Michael Conforto and Nelson Cruz I uh, had nice conversations with all of them Nelson Cruz was especially uh, funny and cool and has an amazing memory about every at bat he's ever had uh, from years ago okay so we just opened 10 of those let's go back to the headliners we got one diamond out of those first 10 um, balling is a habit packs and now we've opened 20 headliners packs with this one and there's the second diamond that's what you're supposed to get green is that trout I don't think so it doesn't quite look like him but it's a green diamond and it's a headliner it is of course Joe Morgan, not too bad. Our second green diamond of the episode. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. How much is he going for? And would I use him? Possibly. What, second base, right? He is going for, oh, only 16000 For a second, I thought it was $160,000. Um, yeah, we, we might end up using him. So that's two diamonds and 20 uh, headliners packs. And on average, you're supposed to get one out of every 10. So, here comes the 23rd pack, and we got a uh, diamond uniform, 1953 Braves, I think it was, and uh, we will probably open some standard packs in this episode, but for now, we're starting off with the cool ones. I've been saving them up, and I want just the start of this pack opening session to be awesome by pull pulling a lot of cool diamonds from the special packs. And here's one. Here's one right here. Okay. Man, purple. I, I love the color green now. That, like, tealy green. I love it. But this is just going to be... Marcus again? Seriously? Three Marcuses, huh? And he's going for, like, 2,500. All right. All right. Um, and that was the 29th pack, I believe. That was the 29th pack. So here's the 30th pack. Okay, so we've had three diamonds in 30 packs. And that's what you're supposed to have. One out of every 10 headliners packs gives you a diamond. So we'll be slightly lucky if we get one in these 
final few packs here because we only have 36 and now we only have four left let's see no no three headliners packs remaining come on i want to be lucky two left if we get one diamond in one of these last two packs that means we're luckier than the average bear okay come on let's do this and t-r-o-u-t -T. i don't know if we can even get trout in a headliners pack maybe um all right so we did not we only got three diamonds in those 36 and so far we've gotten one diamond and 10 fallen as a habit packs and in those you're only supposed to, on average get one for every 15 so we've had slightly better than average luck so far back to the ball and as a habit packs i don't want to quick flip trout like i did before um all right let's do this let's do this and for those of you wondering uh why uh video was removed recently of opening packs there were some te technical difficulties with it uh might put it back up later Okay, come on, eight packs to go out of 25 Ball in His Habit packs, so we're supposed to get like 1.67 diamonds out of 25 of these, I guess. Uh, that would be the right math, I think. Five to go. Come on. I feel like we're going to get one. Four packs left of the Ball in His Habit. Three now. We're going to get a diamond. We're getting a diamond in this one right here. Here we go. My body is ready. T-R-O-U-T. -T. No, double gold. Um, final ball in his habit pack. Come on. And trout. Man. All right, that hurts. That hurts a little. Bo Bichette, though, he could go diamond before the end of the year. And uh, now, well, we've got a lot of diamonds here. I'm not even sure how these work. I just choose one uh, here. Let's do, let's do AL West. Could be trout. No, it's Flashbacks and Legends. It can't be Trout. All right, but I can pick one. Uh, are these not sellable? I'm not sure how much they'd be going for. Uh, there's a chance I'd use Doolittle. Maybe. Let's get Doolittle. And, yeah, I guess they're not sellable. But, hey, it's a diamond. Uh, let's finish these off. Uh, sure, I'm going to go with uh, Larry Walker, who is pretty awesome. Uh, by the way, cool Larry Walker story. You should look this up on YouTube at some point. He caught a ball at Dodger Stadium when he was playing for the Expos. Uh, he thought it was the third out, and he gave it to a fan, and then he realized it was the second out, and he went back and gr grabbed it back from the kid. Um, I'll take Edwin, yeah, and then threw it in. But, you know, it counts as the ball going out of play. Um, so I think what two base error, I guess, is what, what that would have been. I think there was one around first who came around to score, but I think they sent him back to third, as I recall. That was like mid-90s. That was a long time ago. People have told me that these team affinity packs, sometimes you pull trout. That's what I've heard. But I think I'm just going to get a bunch of bronzes. That's my guess. Two more. Uh, hey, a silver, Granky. It's kind of a sad time we're living in where Granky is only a silver. All right, AL West. These are the ones, maybe, where you get Trout. All right, Hanniger. He's not exactly Trout status. Kyle Gibson is also not Trout status. Oh, we got one more of these. Let's open it up, and let's get uh, Gary Sanchez. He's been hitting the ball pretty darn hard recently. We've got 1,111 standard packs, by the way, and we'll open some of them in this episode. All right, let's make some choices here. Um... Who might I actually use? None of these guys. So I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get Anthony uh, right there, and then oh yeah, I can't sell these here. Wait, really? It says non. Wait, I can sell him though. I can sell Willie. Oh, I can't sell Bob Gibson there. Are they all okay? Forty-two thousand Hank Aaron. Okay, Hank Aaron's going for the much. Going for the much. Going for the most. Uh, let's get him and let's sell him. I'm not gonna. I, I can't hit well with righties. A lot of you disagree with that, but it's true. Oh, non-sellable. Oh, I didn't see the little no sell symbol for some reason on over their head. But I can sell these guys. I think. Uh, let's get Yastrzemski. Uh, you never know. Might use him. He's a lefty. Oh no, was no sell. Okay, fine. So none of these I can sell. But let's open one more anyway. So if I can't sell him, uh, Gallo glitch in the game. Might use him. Okay, no sell. Whatever. Um, so now a lot of these don't have a strong chance of getting anything great. But let's just open them anyway just to get rid of them. So then we can open some standard packs. And you never know. I mean, I've pulled Trout from a standard pack. Uh, could happen. 
let's finish these off. Um, Albert Pujols there. Good medium age ball player. Has been playing pretty well lately for the Dodgers. Um, a few days ago, I got a suite at Dodger Stadium for the whole softball crew. And that was pretty fun. Um, saw no hitter. So it was fun and not fun. It was good to see history. It was kind of crazy. Um, the night, uh, get a suite for the crew. Let's open some standard packs. We see a no hitter. Cubs threw a no hitter against the Dodgers. And I, I was actually rooting for it at the end. I'll tell you why. A couple reasons. One, it's always good to see history. Two, it's June. The Dodgers are going to make the playoffs 100%, in my opinion. A lot of you will disagree with that, but I think we're going to win the division pretty easily, actually. A lot of you really disagree with that. Um, the, the games aren't going to... It's like my Bobby Crosby Road of the Show series for the Dodgers. Now, the games don't matter until late October. Like, really. Like, the Dodgers are going to get the World Series this year. I'm fairly confident of that. Some of you are extremely confident that I'm wrong about that, but Dodgers are going to the World Series this year. Are they going to win it? Probably. Um... But yeah, I'm not concerned, not concerned about, you know, one game being the difference here. And, and if we were going to lose it anyway, we're down 4 nothing, like in the ninth. Like, I didn't really start rooting for it until well, kind of like the eighth inning. I kind of, oop, kind of gave up hope um, that we were going to win the game. We were just looking really lethargic out there and um, did not feel like our night. So I was then thinking, let's see history. First time the Cubs have ever thrown a combined no-hitter. 17th no-hitter in franchise history, but first combined one. Kind of crazy. Cool to see that, and the suite was awesome. It was a um, suite that holds, uh, well, I think technically 50 people, but it had 30 seats and then, you know, tons of standing room area, and nice lounge area. It was called a Champion's Lounge Suite, one of the special big suites. That was pretty fun. Um, I like sweets. I like the food. Uh, not a big fan of the $65 medium-sized pizzas, though. Uh, that was a little wacky. Um, yeah, only got a couple of those, even though pizza is good. But that pizza was, was not quite $65 pizza, I can tell you that much. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna open packs here definitely until we get a diamond. I kind of want to go until we get a blue diamond. Uh, I was a little disappointed by those special packs because the, the 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 only green diamonds that we got we were like essentially guaranteed to get, weren't we? Or only one of them. One of them we were guaranteed to get basically because it was we were guaranteed to get a headliner. Um, and then we got some other from a kitchen sink pack. We got a ninety. Six plus diamond, but uh, we didn't see the cool reveal, you know. I wish all of those special packs involved. I don't want a choice. I want to see the stage reveal and see the green stage background. That's what's really cool to me. We've opened 44 of these packs now and no diamonds, but on average, we're supposed to get one out of every 50, so we'll see. We'll see. What was that? A um, universal profile nameplate. Not interested in that stuff. I want the players or maybe some really cool equipment item that goes for like 30,000. 30,000 or something. That would be cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Ozzy Albies. He was actually playing for me early on in my Diamond Dynasty series. But see, I don't play much anymore of Diamond Dynasty. I'm just not good enough, and I've had a lot more fun opening packs lately. A lot of people in the comments right now. I'm sure one of you right now is typing, Bobby, why don't you get Chipper? You've got all these stubs. You could have easily just uh, completed the National League and gotten Chipper because I've already completed the American League and gotten Ortiz. And the answer is I don't care. I don't. I like Chipper, and I'm good with lefties, and I'd like to have the Chipper card, but I more would like to just open a lot more packs. So, um, yeah, so like I sold Tatis, for example. Accidentally quick flipped Tatis um, a while back, and I just sold him to buy more packs. I don't need Chipper. I want to open packs. It's fun. If I got Chipper, I'd be like a 1% better player because the players, you know, the good players improved team would help me like maybe 1%. 
But I'm so bad anyway. Like, does it really matter if I go from a, you know, a 500 rating player to a 510 rating player? Like, no. It, it doesn't matter. It's going to help me win, like, one game more out of my next 100 games that I would have won otherwise. So it doesn't matter. Uh, but people act as if I'm the dumbest person in the world for not doing it, as if, like, I just haven't thought of it and haven't been told that I could get Chipper and complete the collections. And No, I know. I've been playing this game for a long time. Look how many videos are on my channel and how many of them are MLB The Show. It's, you know... Over 2,000 MLB The Show videos on this channel. I know about Chipper. I know about the collections. I'm making a decision. I'm making a solid, informed, smart decision. I think it's smart. And I, I'm the only one that matters about if it's smart. Because it's my, it's my life. It's my choice. Here we go. Let's get Trout. Now, he doesn't have a glove, but the hair looks like... Um, is it, uh, yeah, it's always a Brewer. It's Burns, okay. All I, all I pull is Brewer's pitchers when it's Diamonds. That's like, or Marcus. I get Marcus all the time. Marcus is a good name. Um, I wish my name was Marcus. Marcus Crosby, that would be cool. Uh, I'd have at least 2 million subscribers if my name was Marcus Crosby. That would be a better name. So it took me almost 80 packs to pull a Diamond there. And, um... Man, all those special packs, and I feel like we were a little unlucky with them. We could have got something a little more special, although we got some decent stuff. We saw two green stage reveals, which was pretty cool. But one of them literally cost six, 16,000 stubs, right? The Joe Morgan was 16,000? Yeah, but then the Carlos Santana, what was he going for, 101,000? And we're actually going to use him, possibly. So, uh, although I might sell them to buy more packs at some point. That might happen. Do I have a pack addiction? Um, I don't think so. It's fun, but I'm not addicted to opening packs. And, um, yeah. And for those of you who may not know how YouTube works, you know, money is made from ad views on the videos. Every time you see an ad... There's money made, and by the way, these pack videos get lots of views. A lot of you are worried that I'm going to like throw away my life savings on packs, and just to let you know, I've made a large profit from opening packs. Um, the cost of the packs has paled in comparison to the YouTube money that has been made from opening these packs. I mean, there's so many comments. Some of them are trying to be helpful. Some of them are worried about me, and they're like, Bobby, you're going to blow all your money opening packs and no it's actually been extremely profitable uh just to let you know i've got a book coming out uh in a few months on how to do youtube and yeah i mean for those of you who are curious about that and how to do youtube i mean let me tell you i put out multiple pack videos where each of the videos has made well over two thousand dollars just one video of opening packs. Um, and that's just so far. I'm talking about this year. But, see, the videos continue to make money over time. I rarely talk about this stuff, but I'm going to be talking about it more because I've got that book coming out. So I'll probably have some videos talking about what's in the book. And over time, those videos that have already come out, pack videos this year, you know, this month that have made over $2,000, in the next five years, those videos might make $10,000 as people continue to watch them each, as people continue to watch them over the next several years. That's how it works. It's pretty cool. So I am not uh, burning through all my money. It's okay. It's a profitable venture, and it's fun to open packs. Uh, if I was putting out Diamond Dynasty gameplay episodes instead, of the packs, if I was just doing more of the Diamond Dynasty games, here we go. Um, they wouldn't be making as much money, and they'd take a lot longer to film, and it wouldn't be as fun because I'm just losing. And I often don't even use them because I lose 10 nothing, and I just don't even, don't even put up the video. Okay, it's a purple, of course. Um, it's a Brewer's pitcher, probably. No, or is it? Okay, yeah, it's Kirby Yates. All right, I sold some duplicates of him today. To open more packs. Um, 
Yeah, so if I was playing Diamond Dynasty games instead of opening packs, half of them I wouldn't even be using as videos because I just get my butt kicked and it's just embarrassing. I go, I'm not using this. Um, yeah, I mostly just post the Diamond Dynasty games where I where I win or where it's at least exciting and close. Uh, but that's only about half of them, unfortunately. A little over half. It's like 60%. But um, So I want to use my time wisely and have fun. And I definitely have more fun opening packs than I do striking out in Diamond Dynasty. The, the choices are not simply about, oh, what's going to get the most views and make me a bigger YouTuber and make the most money. No, that's partially goes into it, but the main factor is it's way more fun for me to open packs than it is to lose in Diamond Dynasty and then not even use that video um, because it just feels too embarrassing sometimes with some of these losses. Uh, just to give you a little, a little more insight into the behind the scenes here and what goes into decision making on what videos to play. Uh, I'll tell you what though, I've been playing a bunch of that Mario Super Slugger, and that's a lot of fun. Um, I've also been playing it a good amount uh, on my girlfriend's channel. Her channel is called Christy Quinn, and that's a fun game. Um, obviously so is MLB The Show, uh, but it's cool to play something new or new to me. I had never played the Wii prior to this month, so that was neat to uh, to get into that, gonna play some more of that. Gonna play some Nintendo Switch, possibly. Might play that new uh, Mario Golf game, possibly. I'm not sure if I do episodes of that for for the channel. Maybe. Uh, we have now opened a hundred and fifty three packs. Uh, one hundred and fifty three standard packs already. Yeah, one hundred and fifty three standard packs and yeah i'm trying to decide how much longer to go like i could say i'm gonna keep going until i get a blue diamond but that might take another 45 minutes that might take another 500 packs possibly so i don't think i'm gonna say that right now and i have you know things to do i actually have to go in about an hour and a half and i have to get this video all uploaded pre-uploaded uh you know scheduled and title thumbnail and all that i've got to get all that ready to go normally i have long recording sessions but this is the only video i'm recording in this session because i'm under a time constraint right now so for many reasons uh, i'm not going to say going until i pull trout or or even until i pull a blue diamond but we're going to go until we pull another diamond um right when we pull a diamond we're going to be done with this episode but about three weeks ago, I went 430 straight packs without pulling a diamond from standard packs. So you never know. It might take a long time. But on average, you're supposed to get one one out of every 50 packs. So we're going to go a little faster here. We might accidentally quick flip one. But if we do, that's okay. It was actually pretty fun quick flipping trout. Uh, that, was, that was an epic moment. That was crazy. I think he was literally the first diamond I've ever quick flipped. And then it was Trout. So I was just blown away. I was like, what is this? So I don't know. Maybe it's luck to quick flip a diamond. We'll see. Um, we've now opened 180 standard packs. Good amount. And I think we're going to get another diamond before we hit 900 packs left. So in these next 29 packs, now 28. I think we'll get a diamond. We'll probably get one with 911 packs left, um, which would mean the 201st standard pack. So the pack we open when it says 911, leaving us with 910 packs left. That's my guess. We'll see coming up pretty soon here. And 11 packs, we'll be opening that one. Okay, come on, come on. Diamond, no. And, and, no, but a nice gold player, good young ball player. Still trying to figure out microphone situation. I always have bad sound for some reason, or at least, you know, not great sound. Uh, I had bad sound in my first year or so of doing YouTube and or doing the gaming videos. Um, and since then, I've often just had decent sound. 
but I can't seem to get great audio recordings. I need to hire a professional to help me out. Okay, here we go. This is the pack. This is the predicted pack for the diamond. No. All right. Incorrect. Incorrect. <sighs> Going to keep pulling until we get a diamond. Got to get a diamond. 907 packs left. I don't know much history about the 10th century, so I can't tell you what happened in the year 905, which is this pack number. 904, I assume there was a cow who peed on a... Um, on a roach. There was probably a roach that a cow peed on in the year 904. All right, here comes the pack. 900 pack number 900 now 899 in the year 899 a roach peed on an ant uh, that's a true story that's a fact um, you can look it up definitely it happened okay where's my diamond where's my diamond i don't need another seth lugo unless he's a diamond he's a good young ball player though Tuesday, by the way, Tuesday, going to put up a, another episode of Grasketball. Going to be a second Grasketball episode going up on Tuesday, or at least that's the plan right now. We've pulled, I think, two diamonds from 226 standard packs. Is that right? I think we've only got two diamonds from these standard babies. Uh, that's not great. Not great at all. It'll be 200 and... This is the 230th pack, standard pack. Okay. So, not the best luck. That was a, I don't know, a uniform or something. That diamond thing you just saw briefly. I just care about the players. Mostly, for the most part. want to pull a diamond player, and it's not happening. It's not happening just yet. Uh, I do want one, though, and I'll get one. Definitely getting one before this episode ends. And at this point, it has to be epic. If it's not epic, then I'll be very upset. If it's a purple, if it's a purple Brewers pitcher, when's Walsh going diamond? Jared Walsh should go diamond soon. Okay, we're on a gold streak. Yeah, if it's a, uh, if the diamond I get is a Brewers pitcher, I'll be upset. Not, be, not because there's anything wrong with Brewers pitchers, and they're obviously good young ball players, if not great young ball players, which is high praise. But I'm just tired of getting them all the time, and they're not worth many stubs. And it's just, no, give me a green diamond, or at least a blue diamond. Uh, Ten players went diamond uh, yesterday. There we go. This is it. Let's do this right now. Give me a green. Give me a blue. It's a purple, but it's not a Brewers pitcher, I don't think. Um, who are you? Who are you? You are a White Sox player named Liam Hendricks. That's who you are. Definitely a good young ball player. Uh, having quite the season. And uh, if you like this episode, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Tell your friends about these videos. You know what I am going to see you in episode number 23.